This offseason, the Chicago Bears signed a veteran quarterback, Andy Dalton. And then they drafted a quarterback, Justin Fields, in the first round, 11th overall. And honestly, I got to say, just Andy Dalton alone would already have been the best quarterback that Matt Nagy, the Bears head coach, has ever had in Chicago. In his time in Chicago. So he took the job in 2018. And uh, by the way, he won NFL Coach of the Year in 2018. But Matt Nagy inherited. He did not draft him. He inherited Mitchell Trubisky, who was already on the Bears roster when Matt Nagy became the head coach. And by the way, let me ask you a question, because I think it's important to say this too. What, what's Matt Nagy's job? Was Matt Nagy's job to save Mitchell Trubisky? No. Matt Nagy's job is to win games. Matt, Na- Matt Nagy's job is not to... It's the same way that Sean McVay's job was not to save Jared Goff. Sean McVay's job with the Rams is to win football games. So he inherited Mitchell Trubisky, and then the Bears traded for Nick Foles. So the two you know, starting quarterbacks Matt Nagy's had in his time in Chicago, Mitchell Trubisky, a guy who, frankly, was way, way overdrafted. I think Trubisky could have been a solid quarterback if he'd been a— like, I, I actually liken him a lot to Ian Book, the guy who went to the Saints in the fourth round. They're a very similar skill set. And if he'd had time to sit, no pressure— no expectations of being a franchise quarterback. I don't, would have loved to see what Mitchell Trubisky could have become in a different scenario in a different, with a different, different draft pick, but he never should have been the number two overall pick. So Trubisky was a mess. And then Nick Foles, by the way, the other Bears quarterback recently, couldn't even win the starting job as the quarterback in Jacksonville. <laughs> like uh, Jacksonville paid him a ton of money, hoping he'd be their guy, and they got rid of him. And that's for a reason. It's because Nick Foles, again, like Nick Foles had a very brief stretch of his career where he was really good, won one Super Bowl one time. That's about it. And the opinion of Matt Nagy right now, the Bears head coach, is very, very low. A lot of people have a very low opinion of Matt Nagy. But he now has two new quarterbacks, Andy Dalton, who is competent and solid, and the Bears have Justin Fields, who is dynamic and exciting, and very, very talented. And I really believe that Andy Dalton and Justin Fields will change people's opinion of Matt Nagy. I'm asking you, get ready to watch this year and go, oh, you know, Matt Nagy, it makes sense why he won Coach of the Year in 2018. He's not a terrible coach. I think people will once again realize that Matt Nagy actually is a good football coach when they get to watch him have... Andy Dalton as his quarterback, and Justin Fields as his quarterback. In recent years, Chicago has had some really, really good play calls. And then also had really, really poor execution by one of the Bears' quarterbacks. If a coach calls a great play, but the quarterback reads it wrong or, you know, misses the throw, that's not on the coach. I saw many times where Matt Nagy was dialing up really good play calls with good matchups and had people open downfield and Trubisky wouldn't see it or would miss a throw or Nick Foles would force it in triple coverage. Like, what are you doing, dude? Go watch film of Mitchell Trubisky or Nick Foles. They did not fail because of their coach. They were given good opportunities and did not capitalize. So, okay, guys, I think people are about to change their tune on the Bears head coach, Matt Nagy. I don't love Andy Dalton, but Andy Dalton is decent. He's not going to miss wide-open touchdowns. He's not going to miss easy, simple throws that we saw both of the Bears quarterbacks in recent years miss. Andy Dalton alone is the best Bears quarterback in years, which is not the most encouraging thing to say. But hey, okay, we got a decent, competent quarterback. We meaning the Bears. Plus, the Bears also have Justin Fields in waiting. And so I, I think, man, like Matt Nagy calling plays for Justin Fields. Oh, boy, that's exciting. And Andy Dalton, again, can execute and isn't going to horribly screw up and do just awful, awful things. He's going to be solid and make decent throws and not going to wow anybody. But again, Andy Dalton's not going to miss wide open receivers. And ha- if he has people wide open, he's going to throw them the ball. That, that's kind of all you can ask is a guy that can execute and be somewhat accurate. That's what Andy Dalton can do. So I am really, really excited to watch Matt Nagy coach this year, see what he can do. 
And I think people are about to change their opinion about Matt Nagy and go, oh, yeah, it kind of having a good quarterback does matter just a little bit. Watch what Matt Nagy does with better quarterbacks this year. We'll see. I mean, if he can't coach Andy Dalton or Justin Fields, then fine. Then fine. We, we can say, like, people can be critical of Matt Nagy and I'll go, you know what? You're right. Fair enough. But I don't think it's fair to judge Matt Nagy on Mitchell Trubisky and Nick Foles, who couldn't even win the job in Jacksonville. That's what I'm trying to say. I cannot wait to see what happens with Matt Nagy and the Chicago Bears with their new starting quarterbacks. I guess with their new quarterbacks, one of them will start and then another one will eventually start. But they got two new quarterbacks, and uh, I cannot wait to see what happens with Matt Nagy moving forward.